the first three games, yeah. So. Now, the big news is that your fellow nominee Cameron has been packed off to South Africa in a Big Brother swap. What do you make of his sudden busman's holiday? Um, I think it'll either make or break the man. Mm. Um, yeah. He will th get in a lot of trouble in South yeah. Africa. They won't put up with him at all. Yeah. Well, I think we can have actually a look at Cameron when, I think he, when he heard the news. No, this is, is this, oh, this is him leaving. No, this is him getting is ready to go. He's getting ready to go. There he is now. Is he okay, oh. Cameron's panned down and he's, what's he reading there exactly? He goes, I love this, some little camcordist just on the outside of the fence there. They've popped up, won an exclusive, he's with and there Gary. he is, he's leaving the house for South Africa. Yeah. Oh, I don't know who was filming that, but I've, that was a good exclusive, no, that obviously. Yeah, it was. Now, how do you think Cameron will get on? That African housemates have been quite raunchy and wild. Yeah. And I don't really see Cameron being like that. I, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I fear for the man, because uh, <laughs> when, uh, when, he, when he came in the house, it took two weeks before the nerves calmed down, uh, and the other side, shall we say, the wildebeest came out. But, uh, I do, I, I do, I do have reservations about how he got on for two weeks in this kind of pan-African setup. He could be a surprise, though. Down. You never know. He's got everyone saying he's he too. Could, you know, he he may, may just go over there and become. He could be. Like he could the, do. The he might, he might not as well, doggy. You know. Do you want a prediction box? about Cameron in South Africa? Give us it, man. Rocking backwards and forwards in a corner within two hours. Oh, yeah. 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 They really? under, will they understand him? No. Well, it's a, well, it's a potential banana skin. Put it that way. I tell yeah. you one thing. I'm still trying to go with the fact that three grand for your life story. Yeah. I'll do mine for a grand. <laughs> now, one person you haven't seen yet, but will give you a very warm reception of, is of course Victi number one. That's Anushka. You haven't seen each other since her first eviction three weeks ago. Yeah. Yesterday you confessed uh, to the papers, Fed, that you fancied the pants off her. Are you man enough to say that to her face? Of course I am. I'm all man. Which Apparently. same man wouldn't? In that case, bring on the sex. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. And you know Kate, you know Kate. Now, guys, let's let's just let's play down, let's relax. Let's catch up. Okay. Fed, just exactly how much have you missed Anushka? Immensely so. From <laughs> and uh, this, this is not just, you know, for effect or for cameras, and I have said stuff for effect before. Um, when she went in the first week, it, it just it left the house empty. She was the preeminent force of the first week. She was the star of the first week. And there was a lot of jealous, catty women who got rid of her because she's a beautiful girl. And that's simplistic. Yeah. Yeah. I totally yeah. agree. Mean and nasty she, voting. She's yeah, man, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen you before, and I look at you in the flesh, and I think, Good on you. She's 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 a looker. And you didn't see me this morning. You should you should <laughs> I did. I just it's, chose to forget. Yeah, my boyfriend's <laughs> in. I go and uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> now um, there was oh, there was a lot of talk. There was a lot of perhaps excitement and frustration at the same time. I think we can have a look at a clip just now. Um, it's a flirtatious clip, but it's really <laughs> enjoyable to watch. Let's play in a clip of uh, you two guys in week one. Here we go. Well, it fixes it. We get all sexy. Let's keep the love affair. Mm. Yeah. She's like got it. an angle already. Let's go. <laughs> Anushka, what exactly were you saying there? <laughs> uh, I can't remember. <laughs> yes, you can. Was it along the lines of if we bonk, we'll get 50 grand? No, and no. We'll get sent out. It was just, let's have a mad sex affair or something like that. For sure. She, for was, sure. Wanting, she was wanting to grip the nation with her affair. Oh, man. Do you know what? You know, if you'd, if you'd stayed <laughs> in a few more weeks, do you think it would have happened? I'll let Anushka answer no. that. Or was no. it just a bit. You don't? But, um, my boyfriend wouldn't have been very amused. <laughs> this boyfriend thing keeps I do, popping I do, up I all did the time. Enjoy, <laughs> I did enjoy when Anishka came in the house. She, she told us, I kind of have a boyfriend. Yeah. You know. But yeah. he is my actual boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. but he was kind of your boyfriend. Yeah, he's yeah, he's, 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 he's now your boyfriend. Yeah. Is, is, is he Smart here man, today? Smart is he here man. with us today? No, no, he's at the hotel. OK, that's a bonus already. He's a good mate and you fancied Scott. Do you still stand by that? Fed is a great mate, but I don't... Scott's cute, but... Would you have gone I all the way? I'm myself out of this hole. <laughs> yeah, would you have gone all the way if you had had a bit more time together? No, no. no, no. What do you think about the rumours of Fed batting for both sides? Um, very amusing. Yeah. Because you told me about Frank anyway, didn't you? Yeah, we did. We had endless conversations yeah. about Frank. Yeah. Well, why not, man? Okay? It's all double your chances. If you can't, if you can't get into um, Anuska's part, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's not trying to get into John's. I don't know if. if, if I don't know, it just increases your thing. chances. Don't really, start us on, no, no, start on the KY again. Must, must, must just say, actually, we've had a lot of females come in with filtered food. I'm just going to sort of basically shout a few over at you. In fact, do you want to go for the first I'll one? I'll go first. This is an email from Stacey in Gloucester, and she asks Fed, do you regret what you said about women being slags? No, 
Okay, uh, this is an email, email from Celia in Norfolk. Uh, John, this is for you. Will the tomato plants be suffering without you? Are they not already dead? I mm. think they may have died. Right. <laughs> let's bring it up, bring it up, let's have a happy I'll have email. to go into mourning. <laughs> okay, do we have a phone call? We should have had a phone call, um, but I'm not sure if they're going to be on the line. Hello, is anybody there? It doesn't matter. Oh, it should Anna, be Annabelle, Annabelle, Annabelle in Buckinghamshire. Buckinghamshire. Hello? Hello? Ooh. Is that oh, Annabelle in Buckinghamshire or is that? <laughs> Hello, Hi, Annabelle. Annabelle. Hello. Hello. Who's your question for Annabelle? It's for John. Okay, okay get stuck in, Annabelle. Excellent. Go ahead. You said you go straight back to work after Big Brother. Don't you want to be famous? No, why? I, I love what I do. Um, this is strange. This is weird. But fame is quite transitory. You know, we, we came in the the dodgy underground entrance today. Your back passage really smells. It's, it's <laughs> awful. Um, so, it's you know, it's, it's not all big <laughs> lights oh, and, and Thank goodness cameras. we're still maintaining a highbrow broadcast this yes. morning. A highbrow. <laughs> and we've got a text from Tanya in Yorkshire. This is for you, Fed. Uh, wear those socks down your trousers in the news of the world. Socks down the socks trousers? Down my trousers. Yeah, that's what she asks. Down oh, yeah, yeah, I don't find son. Yeah, did socks down there? I don't know if she's asked this. Let's, God, after seeing, let's keep it up there, let's keep it up there. Doesn't we should have me. John on the phone. No, Richard in Stoke. Hello. Hi, Richard, how are you, mate? Hello, very well, thank you. How are you? G good, yeah, good. Do you know me, man? Thanks you know for asking. Here's your question for Richard. Yes, I have a question for John. Um, John, now that you're out of the Big Brother house, will you be seeing any more of Justine? Um, I question. haven't actually seen any video of what she's been saying uh, recently, so mm. perhaps it's a bit early to pass judgment on Judge uh, Justine. Uh, just, just, if, I, if I can say, um, I think Justine was a little bit upset that she got beaten by geeky John Tickle the Nerd. She was. So um, don't worry about it. It's, it's over yeah, now. Geeky, geeky I've got John one more Tickle text. the Nerd. I've, got, tickle man I've got one text from Ian. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got a text from Ian Lee. Said, "Have you read Harry Potter?" No. Well, listen, no. that's Gimme. the book, and that's from there me. Go, I'm trying it for loads okay, of other people, guys, but you're not for me. Okay, you're going to stick around for Mel and Sue, but it's about half an hour or more chat. But just now, though, it's back over to Zora for the news and weather. Here she comes. Or while she's while she's in the house, as soon as she's out, we'll be all yeah, over obviously, her. Obviously, yes, I'm um, positing and loving her. As, uh, they're two men who live through it all. It's John and Fed. Let's have a look at how they took the news they were going on Friday. I can now reveal that the fourth person to be evicted from the Big Brother house is... Federico. Oh. Oh, <laughs> the fifth person to be evicted from the Big Brother house is... Come on, Davina. Yes. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Oh. John. <laughs> it's wrong. It wasn't right. But we.